Welcome to the second episode of South Korea for a Day where I go places and do stuff that will transport me to South Korea. Before we start, if you haven't seen my first episode, I have linked it up there and in the description box below. Okay, for the second episode, we're still going to a cafe. But what makes it different is that we will be focusing on the experience it gives you as a remote worker. As you all know, I am one of the lucky people who have their work migrated to working from home. And with that, I can literally work anywhere. You see, in 2022, I have this goal that I'll be working remotely to South Korea for a month. But since it's not yet possible, I thought, why don't I do a trial run, right? Here's what we're going to do. This is how I envision my working from home setup if I am in South Korea. Consider this content as your checklist in order for you to identify if the cafe you're about to visit is a certified coffee. I have created the same content for Pampanga, so if you're not from Bulacan because we are visiting a Bulacan cafe for this content, I'll definitely recommend that you click the link up there on the description down below. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Obviously, this is subjective. So this tip one requires a trial and error. As for me, since I've been here a lot of times already, I can say that I like their coffee. I think my only complaint, at least before, was its size. You see, when I visit before, their coffee size is really, really tiny. I was actually shocked when they showed me that they have a bigger size option for iced coffee there. Before, I have tried their macadamia latte. This time, I ordered the dark hazelnut and it was really, really good. I'm not kidding. The second point is about the vibe you're into. Does it have a calming vibe? Do you want a minimalist or busy? You should always check what works for you. As for me, what I like about this cafe is the minimalist vibe that it gives me. Knowing myself, I really know that I'm more efficient if my workstation is clean and wide. This may sound cheesy, but having a high ceiling gives me that freeing feeling. Like imagine freeing your mind to those wide spaces in the cafe. All I know, it has a psychological effect. 
Lastly, it should not only look good. Find a space where you'll be more comfortable. Tip number three is about adjusting to your Prospect Cafe. So since I've been to this cafe and I'm already aware that the AC is not on its full function. With that knowledge, I had to adjust what I'm wearing. So yeah, make sure that you are not wearing winter clothes but summer clothes, okay? I mean, depending on the cafe, if it's cold out there, then by all means wear winter clothes. I mean, I mean you know it already. Second to the last tip is definitely one of the most important suggestions I can give you guys. Fast internet connection means quality work for remote workers. Also, who wants to run out of battery, especially when they're in the zone, right? So shall we do a speed test for this cafe? I really recommend that you inquire all this information, you know, speed test and socket availability through their social media platforms in order for you to avoid, you know, wasting your money going there. So you've been warned. Lastly, you have to create a system. What I usually do is that I check my calendar the night before in order for me to know if my day is going to be long or short. That will help me set up expectations to myself about all these things I need to accomplish for the day. Crossing a few items off your list will definitely give you satisfying feeling. Understood what I did wrong. I'm trying hard to find a place where I belong. Lived an empty life, if I had to carry on. I guess I really was giving up on love. And I tried to block those feelings off. In a So I guess that's it. If you are looking for more cafe recommendation in Bulacan, then I can't end this video without mentioning the other two I have on the list. So let's get into the list. Roll BTR. Really and I tried to block those feelings all. In a and it all came back when I thought that everything was lost. Thank you, thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you find this really helpful. Please support me by clicking the subscribe button, like this video, and share it to your friends. This has been Rafa for Afro Roads. Avoid the rough road and have a smooth sailing trip. See you in the next video. Bye guys!